one. Another giant. This is what we've been waiting on. Do. Well, that's a way to start off a video. I <laughs> hope you guys uh, have been enjoying the content, first of all. That was a freaking tank that I just happened to lose for my first bite of today's episode. What in the world? That fish was every, I mean, it was over five. If you guys haven't seen some of the previous episodes, we have been smoking them today. I'm, I'm having to make multiple videos today, guys, because it's been so good. Like, I have never seen so many big bass being caught and uh <laughs> it's just wild if you go look at one of the recent episodes i'll actually pop it up on the screen and leave the link down below it's probably one of the craziest videos i've ever filmed in the last 10 years like it, it was one of the best bank fishing videos i've ever had you guys need to go check it out caught some freaking monsters i mean just huge 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 bass and could have had the opportunity to catch some bigger ones or more fish in that but you know i'm wanting to film this video so go check that out yeah we're uh bed fishing for some really big bass today throwing this uh texas rig on these beds and these bass are just eating i'm gonna tell you it hasn't been that easy to catch them i've had to work on these fish but let me tell you it's it's they've been catchable which is the important word here so if you guys are enjoying the videos recently please hit the like button if you guys want to check out the kicking their bass tv combos we have right hand bait casters left hand and spinning combos only on my website kickingtheirbass.com the link will be down below but let's keep on fishing and see if we can hook us some good ones because we happen to lose a freaking tank or off the rip that's the guy i want to eat right there oh my goodness no <laughs> what what just happened to me I was actually, I was about to say he's really small, but that was actually one that, I, he didn't look like he was three, but he was a high two pounder. I stuck him too. I happened to not see him, but I saw him come out of nowhere to try to eat it. And be missing fish like that. <laughs> That's, I'm over two right now for this video. I'm getting the bites, they're just coming off. The other one I didn't miss, I just, happened, he happened to pull off. That was a really big one, but that was not a bad fish and I would have liked to start the video off of that but that is okay we're gonna keep on going see if we can find another big old bass There he is. All right. <laughs> there we go, guys. First fish landed of the video. Not a big one. It's a little tiny buck bass. It's a little male, but there could be a big female there. This pond lays out a lot different than how I've been fishing today. A lot of the fish I caught, 95% of them, I have been able to lay my eyes on. In this pond, there's so much grass. I know you guys can probably see that right there. And it's very weird because you're not gonna see beds up here. Every once in a while, you'll see one up on the bank, but most of them are gonna be bedding on the edge of that grass, which is about six foot off the bank. So we're kind of blind casting here. We're not gonna be able to see as much as we saw in that other pond that we were fishing. So we gotta play this very strategic. Not only that, we gotta figure it out because it is a lot different than what we were doing before. So. I'm going to start really pitching this worm on the edge of the grass and I walked all the way to the other side of this pond because there's a good little pocket here and what I've noticed is a lot of these bass have been positioning in the pockets you know there's still been some fish bedding on the main stretch but a majority of the fish have been in the pockets so that's what we're going to focus on and just flip this grass edge real good and if we catch a male bass like that we're always going to flip back in and see if there's a female there. No way. Dude, that was next flip, guys. Okay, we figured him out that quick. That's crazy. You know, I've been at this pond for a second, but I've just been walking back here. And I've been kind of just blind flipping every once in a while. 
but I haven't really sat down and said, hey, I'm gonna fish right here. And uh, we have found the bass. They're sitting on this grass edge here in this corner. Those are both males that we caught, but like I said, them females are close by. Them females are either right there in the same dang spot, we just gotta get them, or they're near. So let's just hunker down and see what we can do, but I think we got it figured out now. Just throwing this little tiny Texas rig, little speed worm, right on the edge of the grass, kind of bobbing it, and getting these fish to pick it up. I'm hoping we can get some of these big ones. I don't like blind fishing like this because, you know, it, who knows, there could be a 10 pounder sitting right there and I just don't know it. And if I did know it, you best to bet I'd be working on them. So we're really going off the play right here. These these buck bass, these male bass, they, they tend to be a little more aggressive. You know, they're going to usually bite first and they're going to bite a little better. So I don't want to leave behind a big old six, seven, eight, ten 10 pound donk when I could be consistently flipping it. So let's put our heads down and see what we can figure out. This guy over here doing yard work in the backyard is just casually having a conversation with somebody. I believe it's somebody on the phone. But he was like, yeah, you know, I'm a big fisherman. He's like, I used to be, not so much now. <laughs> He's just like telling his like life fishing story over there. It's pretty funny. Wait, yeah, yeah. That's him. Is it? Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yes. All right, we got him figured out, guys. We got him really figured out right here is exactly what i wanted i was a little worried when i started fishing this place because i just didn't know that's that's probably still now he said damn look at that one yeah that's a nice little fish that's a that's a he ate three pounds but that's a high two pounder that's not a bad fish at all pretty one we're gonna get here back in the water i'm pretty sure that's a little male <laughs> yeah. not a bad one that's a chunky dude. About two yeah, about two and a half. That's funny. Probably talking about fishing because he saw me fishing over here. I don't know. <laughs> that's that's awesome though. Y'all love it. But guys, we got these fish figured out. We just got to figure out how to catch these females now. These males seem like they're gonna bite pretty good. But getting them five, six, seven, eight pounders in here, I don't know. I might have to go back to that other pond because I have a lot of fish that I didn't get to catch. And we just don't keep fishing this. We got a little bit of wind coming up in here too, which is awesome. That bites not too subtle i mean they're hitting it pretty good they're going tick, tick, tick. and they're just running off with it you kind of got to hook pretty quick or you're, you're gonna miss them who's this guy talking to i got another one another male bass another male bass that is the smallest fish of the day he's still fat but he's it's not big not what we want. How do we go from catching freaking six, seven, eight pounders to catching them? There's another one right there, guys. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. God, oh, we got them figured out right here. Look at that one. That's a solid three. God, they're so freaking fat. They're literally meatballs, guys. It's crazy. That fish has been caught before. I don't know if you see that in the top of his mouth. A little hook spot. This is a pretty good one. I'm not complain with one like that. He is literally in a two pound body, but he's pushing three. <laughs> that is a meatball. Thank you, buddy. That's probably still a male. That's the sad part. I've seen males that are all the way up to almost four pounds today. So it, that that's definitely a little buck bass. A big garage down there somewhere though. I was literally next cast. They're eating. Figured out how to work it. It's crazy because I came to this pond, I was a little stressed out. I was like, I, I don't know how this is gonna play out like I was catching them earlier. And it is totally different. Don't get me wrong, but guess what? We figured it out. And now we're boom, boom, boom. I mean, I haven't moved spots, guys. I've caught five fish right here in a matter of 10 minutes. And I promise you, I'm gonna catch some more. Just gotta work this thing slow and work it right. I might get it in front of one of them females' faces. tank guys that's the first tank i hooked in here god mm. i could tell by the way he ate it why couldn't that man the big ones bite so weird man they're biting so dang weird the male bass have been just eating but them big ones are just different 
Not a horrible cask for where I need to be. I need to be about 10 foot off on this bank. Maybe not that far, but we'll see. Well, guys, I have not had a bite since I've left that spot. We're going to go back over there and really hunker down. It might just be a good bank of beds. I mean, that's how that other pond was. I mean, it was like certain areas where they were just really stacked up. And then anywhere else, you might find one here and there. But then you have these areas where it's like boom, 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 boom. So it's definitely how this corner is. So let's keep on a, let's keep on working this. See if we can work it in the opposite direction. Maybe it'll trigger some fish to bite that didn't bite before. Look at that guys we just came right back in this corner looks like another male and don't get me wrong it's a good one but it's like i don't want to catch these two pounders i'm really looking for these big girls it is fun catching them though and they are putting up a good fight <laughs> oh man this is fun gosh i had you hooked good didn't i buddy look how fat they are a fat dude all right y'all we're back at the pond where I was catching some freaking tanks. This is actually where I lost that that good one at the beginning of the episode. I doubt he'll bite again, but I know he's on bed, so we're gonna throw in there anyways. Maybe there's some more right here that we just don't see though. I just fought that fish all the way in, so it's like one of those things I don't think he'll bite. And this pond fish is a lot different than the one we were at earlier. You know, it doesn't have that thick grass in there or you got to fish you know 10 foot off you can fish pretty much up on this bank realistically you want to throw about two to three off two to three foot off this bank that's kind of where they've been sitting giant this is what we've been waiting on <laughs> that's a nice one man <laughs> wow thank you <laughs> i don't know if i'll eat them out of here he said eat it oh my goodness guys what a fish i'm telling you that that fish right there is every bit of six i mean th this is how it's been in here these freaking big girls are pushed up i mean it's just it's crazy to me you know we fish all these other ponds it's not happening this one it's just set up right it's just it's happening here. all right y'all my camera died i don't really have any way of getting this fish back in the water but to show y'all how big she is i mean that's my foot right there <laughs> that's a freaking mammoth i'm like looking at her through the camera she don't look as big in per or through the camera but she's a pretty one man thank you baby what a fight too that was one of the coolest fights ever she was going crazy guys that's a huge boil right here Oh, I think she saw me though. I think she was about to eat my worm. We're gonna remember that though. I'm gonna remember where the spot's at. We're gonna come back down. And... That was another big one though, I think. I'd say we almost have to forget about sight fishing right now. It's just so, one, it's dang windy, and two, as cloudy as can be. It's almost impossible to see these fish. But we know what they're doing. We know where they're at. We just gotta hunker down.
male bass. Old buck bass. Sit. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this one's kind of cool. It's one of them uh, bass that have them like little orange accents. This reminds me of like a certain <laughs> them Florida bass. Some of them Florida bass like that. Thank you, buddy. I just got slammed right there. That's a good one. Dang, he's not that big. I thought it was at least three and a half. I mean, that's a chunky. Dude, that, this is a two pounder that could be a dang three. I mean, he, he might be dang three. I wish I had a scale of him. Nah, he's a high two, but <laughs> like they're just so brute, so thick. They're just straight meatballs. Like, look at that fish right there. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm about to say one slam me, man. You had to come back and eat it. I'm having so much fun, guys. Just coming into the springtime it has to be one of my favorite times of year to fish, if not my favorite time of year. I mean, you end up catching so many good, fat, freaking fish. And I actually love fishing like the winter time or fall transitioning into the winter. Like, I love that type of fishing too, but like, I don't know, man, something about spring fishing and being able to see them too when you're bed fishing, if you have a good, pretty day, that's just so much fun when these fish push up shallow like this. Don't be raining on me like that. Got a little bit of sprinkle action coming in. Give me another, give me another like 30 minutes, maybe 45. Hold off on that rain, please. Dude, he just turned on it and freaking ate it, spit it out. He's sitting there, he's catchable. Dude, he ate it, spit it out. There's one right behind it too. Yeah, this one's catchable. I don't even think he knows I'm here. Perfect. That's the footballs that I'm talking about. I mean, they're just so fat. I'm hoping that female's gonna push up real quick. You talk about a freaking football. <laughs> that is like a future eight pound. That's one of them eight pounders that literally look like a football. That's what he's gonna be like. Right 